Hi, I'm Todd. I'm going to do a quick recording to show you how and why I use OpenStreetMaps. If you're not aware, OpenStreetMaps is a collaboratively edited map of the world, kind of like Wikipedia, but for maps. And maps are really important because it's good to know where you are and where you're going. So you might ask, why don't you use Google Maps? That's free. Well, the reason is, Google Maps doesn't have maps at a lot of the places that I like to go to. For instance, if we go look at Kabul, Afghanistan, we can see that is represented as two highways that come together. Uh, I know that's not true, and so if we go and look at OpenStreetMaps, uh, the exact same view, we can see in fact that there's an entire city there with things like roads and an airport, lakes, parks, police stations, etc. Um, another consequence of having free and open maps is that you can down legally download and store them on devices such as your phone or your GPS unit. And that's something that you can't do with Google Maps. Um, and so I personally use um, uh, some software called MapDroid, which is free software, which is an offline cache of OpenStreetMaps. And then I also use uh, some, uh, some free software called GPS Logger, which stores my GPS tracks of everywhere that I go with my phone. Um, and so on this trip to, Af to Afghanistan, I was uh, um, being driven from the airport over to Jalalabad, and I noticed that the driver was taking me on a, on a different road than I'd been on before. And that's my this is my seventh time through the Kabul airport, and so um, I pulled out my phone and checked, and I saw that the road that, that he's taking me on wasn't actually on the map. So when I got back to um, the Taj, where I'm where I stay in Jalalabad, I pulled up on the street maps, and there in the black circle, you can see that there's not a road, and, and I know that I drove on it. And so I pulled in my GPS tracks, and in turquoise is the GPS track. Now, we were in a car, we were moving pretty fast, so the track isn't accurate, but in fact, uh, we did go on that road there on the right where there isn't a road on the map. So I pull up Potlatch, which is the... Um, uh, browser-based editor for OpenStreetMaps, and then I trace over the road and, and save it to the map. And I go look at the second portion of the road, and, and that's not saved on the map either. So I go in and I trace over and hit save on that portion of the map. Um, then um, I click save changes and uh, add a quick note, and uh, my description is fixing a road we used to take from the Kabul airport to Jalalabad. This is an alternate to the main route that we usually use. JD, a local Afghan, showed us the route. Now, why is this important? Usually, and every time that we've gone in the past, we've taken the main road, which goes right through the middle of the city, uh, which is there in the black circle, uh, which has horrible traffic um, and uh, is a good place that you can get stuck. And so, uh, using my phone and OpenStreetMaps, I was able to observe and document um, an alternate route that a local took us on. And so I can now um, communicate this to my colleagues. So I can say, you know, FYI, here's, a, here's an alternate route, and here it is on the map. My name is Todd Huffman. I suggest you go check out OpenStreetMaps.org. And if you um, want to use it on your phone, my favorite um, application for it on the Android is MapDroid, with a Y. And my favorite application for it on the iPhone is OpMaps.